all painted up gonna take her home still not necessarily uh legal but see if she can make her home serene's not here to follow me home so i'm fully doing this on my own still gotta paint all the door jams and stuff but taking her home and gonna do the rest of the stuff it looks like a mess put some of the kill mat on the roofing and it's just falling down but that's what it is got everything packed up in here what's up everyone red zero two here and this is our 2003 uh 4350 short school bus four window and let's go ahead and do a walk around so not too much going on yet but we did this uh door handle conversion so had to modify it put the one inch uh flat stock on there had to make a custom latch for there i don't really like the single doors that people do like house doors i think they realistically i don't think they look good at all but went ahead and had to get carpet the seats are actually out of a early 2000s chevy pickup truck and the reason why we did that is because of serene beans passenger seat so that has the seat belt in it so it is actually rotating and locking i guess we're gonna do a full 360 <laughs> but <laughs> so rotating she's got a seat belt she's nice and safe and then we just went ahead and did the same one for the driver's seat but as you can see it's empty right now got most of the windows windows tinted pulled out uh as much of the excess wiring as we can without dipping into all of this bird's nest but got the cabinet we're going to be putting a cabinet here the goal is to have a bed that goes sideways that folds down into a bench and a table in the middle and then right here next to that chair is going to be the refrigerator along with storage up here and hopefully have a um like a fold out table that you can sit in the passenger seat and either do some video editing or cocaine on the table or something like that but other than that that's pretty much all for now currently putting on this side plate that i made there was one already on there but it was a bent aluminum piece put a piece of 14 gauge painted it black put some caulking behind it and some stainless steel screws not too happy with the um quality of these stainless steel screws but that's what you get for stainless steel so put that on went ahead and sealed behind that tail light time to do this one um these are modified led lights from amazon gonna take these four screws out and then the holes for the existing lights like this this was one of the reverse lights leaving that hole open for now because uh contacted ox beam and fingers crossed hopefully getting some merchandise sent from them code red zero two on oxbeam.com gets you 12 percent off all orders over 29.99 so check them out but take this light off i'll seal this one up and then still gotta figure out what i'm gonna do with this down here haven't decided yet i said sell count them up and i'll put them back together gonna get the blackstone rolling Gonna make some potatoes and some smash burgers. I ended up deciding to chop up some onions with the potatoes. Just got potato flair on there and then some frozen snap peas with salt, pepper, and some garlic on there. I'm going to have to learn how to do this whole filming and one-handed thing because, geez, I ain't doing too good already.
Well, the ladies are home. Smash burgers are done. Got the wieners on the grill now. Bun. Gonna be yummy. Still have to go ahead and tint this window, this window, and the driver's side door window. Ran out of tint. Fingers crossed we get another partnership with Oxbeam so I can get some LED headlights and some LED reverse lights for this. Um, we're going to be planning on doing some off-road excursions with it. Nothing crazy. Um, the plans are to see if the bus will run good enough and is reliable enough to do a four-wheel drive conversion next year. But until then, we're gonna just going to throw some all-terrains on it and see what the bus can do. See, what, see how many adventures we can do. Um, AC units over there we just tested that it's going to be um, you'll see the clips but it's the 7.3 power stroke automatic transmission it's got 257,000 miles on it so it's 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 got some life in her or I should say it's it's seen some seen some miles Old 6.0 let me down once again, so we're doing truck stuff in the CRV. What are your thoughts? Um, so. <laughs> well, we're gonna get this out and she's gonna start staining. Uh, didn't realize it until we got out in the parking lot that this is kind of messed up here. I kind of just, they come up to the front of the store and had it on a cart and I was in a rush, so I took it outside, but we'll put a little bit of sandy paper on that and clean it up and it's gonna get messed up anyways inside the bus, so it is what it is. Decided to go with this espresso stain. It's going to be um, obviously kind of a little bit difficult to see like that, but going to do this in espresso stain. Then we're doing a it's like a white butcher block on the top, and then our flooring right here. So it's going to it's kind of going to be a hodgepodge of all sorts of different colors and stuff but it should end up looking like a uh, trashy good mess <laughs> crusty dusty dome medic uh, ac unit got the reinforcement up in the ceiling for it right up there it's certified spark catcher seen me weld that in there um gonna take the cover off serene bean's gonna go ahead and wash up the cover and i'm gonna clean up the inside i got the brand new interior panel i got the ac unit itself is supposed to be a good unit but i got it uh for free without the interior panel i believe that's the correct interior panel so gonna get it cleaned up gonna plug the panel in and put some uh, electric to it and make sure that this works before I go ahead and cut the hole in the roof don't want to cut the hole in the roof and this AC unit be bad so I'm gonna head, go ahead and do that have fun yet yeah. looks a lot better I'm don't look too bad on the inside gonna vacuum clean this up so, get to it. Well, we have this very sketchily hooked up. Don't call the ocean on us, but... Cold air! 
So I'm waiting to do that. Uh, mid chassis heater delete. Um, I know I understand it. I probably should have kept it in there because whenever you're driving, you can have the heat rolling from that. We're going to put a diesel heater in there. So it's going to run off the fuel tank anyways. So didn't really have anywhere to put this, uh, the original heater. So went ahead, deleted that. Um, it's very crusty in here to begin with, but even more crusty after painting it. But the just routed the hose they had the fuel shut off uh not fuel shut off the coolant shut off valves one here and one here and ended up just being able to take off this one that came up to a valve cut it down a little bit and slapped it right back onto the heater core we'll put the uh coolant funnel on there and let it run for a little bit but that's a little bit concerning. So alternators on the list of things to get in the future. And I think we're going to have to go ahead and clean this up. And then the goal is to um, probably on the inside of the fenders here will be blue. But the rest of this, I'm just going to spot spray it with black along with underneath the hood. Eh, underneath the hood, we might end up brushing it. I don't really care. I might even just leave it yellow for now. It doesn't need to be all one color at the moment. But heater hose delete or heater delete. Got the hose run somewhat back to factory. Going to go ahead and bleed it. And then we need some new air filters. Going to see if I can get a cold air intake for this for a little bit more performance. But I'm not too sure if they offer a cold air intake system for an E350. We'll find out. 100% on video. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> but, Serene Bean did a good job. Quit putting your butt in the camera. Sorry, ow. Well, you honestly oh, can't even see it. But, what we gotta do is, see this red line? Completely didn't even think about it, but we gotta go ahead and cut that out for the wheel well. But thankfully, thankfully, it is the cabinets wider than the wheel well, so we don't have to mess up the face. I honestly didn't even think about it. We were measuring up by the window, and we was like, oh, we got so much room to work with, and I thought we were going to have to notch the actual face of this. But thank baby Jesus we don't. So we'll go ahead and cut that, and then try and shimmy its way up into the bus. Welcome back, everyone. This is learnings number two with red zero two. So we're cutting this cabinet out to fit the wheel well on the bus. And I have to start cutting with the jigsaw, but the end of my cut is too close to the wall to start the jigsaw coming this way as long as with this one. So what you want to do is you want to take a drill bit that is bigger than your the thickness of your blade and then we're going to go in here you probably can't see oh wait hold on if we go like this and serene beans filming for me and i tap it you can see the lines you want to go ahead and put the edge of your drill bit on this line and this line so we can go ahead and come in here drill a hole down and then you can go ahead and put the jigsaw in there and start cutting and then you'll just have to clean up that corner so you gotta go like this and drill bits in there learnings with red zero two just out here rewiring because I bought these license plate lights and I made a huge brain fart. There's two wires coming out of where these lights were. They were red with the open underneath so it shines down white to light up the license plate. And for whatever dumb reason, I was like, oh, positive and negative. Hook this up on the driver's side and then shown Serene the brake lights at nighttime 
pressed on the brakes and I noticed that the license plate light went out, realizing that these were running lights and brake lights. So whenever I pressed the brake light in, I was giving power to both leads to this LED license plate light. So I went ahead and picked up these sick bad boys, these American flag lights. And what's cool about them is one of them has a license plate light on it. So that's what I'm working on today. So like I said, it's a 2003 Ford E350 four window. So we got about a 10 foot by seven and a half foot uh, living space in here. Um, the goal is to complete this and get it so it's a weekend warrior, uh, maybe two weeks at a time, road tripper. It's not gonna be anything to live out of, but we're gonna put a trailer hitch on the back and uh, be able to haul the toys haul the toys to different states to play at different off-road parks or just to go adventuring so obviously skipped a whole bunch of the um work that has gotten us to here it's either been too cold too hot just not in the mood to film and missed a whole bunch but now here we are but took it to work it was yellow obviously painted it blue with rust oleum we mixed rust oleum navy blue with their smoke gray mixed in a little bit of acetone and some hardener and went ahead and sprayed the whole thing still gotta do the door jams under the hood and stuff like that but here she is what do you think i love it i'm excited yeah yes Thank you guys for watching. I uh, apologize, I got a little bit spiced up on the drinky poos and did not finish filming the cooking and us uh, eating. So, <laughs> what are your thoughts on the bus? Um, love it. Can't wait for it to be done. So, what's your ultimate goal with the bus? What do you mean? What, like what to do with it? Yeah. What's, what's, um, what's your ultimate goal? Where do you want to go first? Somewhere pretty. Yeah, I really right, want to go to Colorado. You know, she wants to go to Colorado. We'll see how it goes. I want to go to Idaho Ooh, and yeah. do the white water jet boat raft yeah. tours. Uh, Kilgore, I believe, is the company name that does them. But thank you guys for watching. There's going to be many more videos to come on the short bus. Haven't figured out a name for it yet. No, we don't want anything to do with Smurf or anything like that. I think maybe bang bus 2023 20, or something like that but i don't know we'll <laughs> think of a name i've been thinking about like the arctic elephant or something like that but it's not the original color that i wanted to go with but thank you guys for watching we'll catch you on the next one